This month's Lift Joy crate came a little while ago, and I wanted to show you guys what I got inside. The theme for this box is Darkness Calls. And as usual, we're not going to look at the pamphlet at the beginning, which has huge spoilers for the book. However, I would like to point out the beautiful art on the cover and the beautiful contrast with the neon covers. Like, that is perfectly creepy. Like, just the right amount of magicalness. That should be a word. Um... <laughs> So the next thing that pops out to me are these two cards with characters from the Throne of Glass series. One of the girls in my class is really into this series, and I think she'd be really delighted to know that Lit Joy Crate included them in this box. If you're subscribed to Lit Joy Crate for an entire year, you will actually get an entire deck of trading cards I think I have about half of a deck as of right now. And the art on all of them is just spectacular. So the next thing are the three Malfoy boys magnets. There's only two of them, but it's three magnets. So. And this one says, my father will hear about this. And it has Malfoy and Draco Malfoy, and Lucius Malfoy. The art on those is really beautiful, and I really like the aqua color. I think they'd be great for decorating a school locker. So the next thing that I think is actually my favorite part about this box, other than the book, is these oven mitts that say it's a small underworld after all. I really like them because it shows Hades and a skeleton probably rowing down the River of Souls. And it has the it's a small world background images that, I don't know, I just think it's super funny to think about Hades going down the happiest cruise that ever set sail, which is actually It's a Small World slogan if you visit the park. So the next thing that's actually why I sort of had to change my setup for this box, because it is humongous, is this, I think, I don't think you can even see it. There we go, is this pillowcase that has one of the characters from Cruel Prince on it. I, again, really love just the art on everything. All the visual aesthetics are really great. This is the second Lit Joy Crate pillowcase I've gotten since I subscribed to Lit Joy Crate. The first one I got was a Parisian themed one that was also really wonderful. I actually have it in my room. So, let's go into the book. Everything is just jammed in this time. So, this month's book is a Greek fantasy and it says a faceless thief a desperate prince a darkness unleashed and actually what's really cool about these dust jackets is that when you take them off they have this beautiful artwork on them I don't know I feel like you could just sit it down somewhere and just display it it is beautiful and the cover isn't even has this like gold mosaic aesthetic that looks really nice. And I feel like it really draws to the culture behind the story. I'm really looking forward to reading this book. And it just, it looks 
so fun and so creative. A lot of uh, tales like these are European, but I really, really like the whole new idea. I think this this is actually like a Latin, a Latin fantasy. It is beautiful. I mean, I guess I'm gonna be learning a lot more than I already know from this book. And I feel like all the books do a really good job of building the world up for the reader and they're all very immersive. So I am really excited to read this book. I think I'm even more excited to read this book than I am the like Superman one. Just because it looks beautiful and it's just, it's so gripping and it, it makes you wonder. So the last item, which I believe I neglected, which I actually had to take out of the box before I started filming because it was taking up so much space and making it really difficult to like move things around. I was worried about not being able to open the box once I got the camera out. But these are little note cards that are just beautiful. And I think you get about 20 of them. And they've the letters are beautiful. They feel really nice. And they're perfectly sized to be a good bookmark. So I think I might keep one just for myself so I can read with it. And they look great. This box, I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I would because when I saw the preview for the box on last month's, or where is the little booklet? You can look at that now. Um, it, I mean, it looked sort of mysterious, but I was sort of worried it would be like really scary and well, I obviously haven't read the book yet, so I can't say that it's super scary. It seems a lot more inviting than I thought it would. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really pumped about this book. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.